Thou shalt work with co-located teams. This is what I have often heard at Agile conferences. Team members should be seated together in one room. Of course, and they all should meditate, do daily exercises and eat only bioorganic food. I believe this is an ideal picture of a team. Sadly, we don't live in an ideal world. In fact, all trends are guiding us in the opposite direction. Flex time, remote working, telecommuting, distributed teams, virtual companies. The world of work is changing into a place where many people can work anytime and anywhere. More and more, work is a thing that we do, not a place where we go. Obviously, this has huge consequences for the way that we collaborate as modern workers. It is true that the best teams often have been the ones who were physically working together. However, the geographical closeness is just a means to an end. The goal is not physical closeness between people. The goal is mental closeness. When team members understand each other, when they appreciate each other, when they trust each other, that's when you get high performing teams. Of course, this is the easiest to achieve for those who are working together in the same room. But a feeling of closeness is also possible for those who are dispersed across the planet. Some time ago I was thinking about this for a while and I thought it all starts with getting to know each other a little bit better. Now what is a common technique for exploring a certain topic? Easy! Mind maps! So what could be a good practice for exploring the other people on a team? Of course, personal maps. With a personal map, instead of a topic, you start with the team member's name in the middle of the map. Then you write words around it, such as education, hobbies, family, friends, goals, anything you want. If you're like me, you realize how embarrassingly little you know about your team members. Great! That means you have a reason to ask them a question next time you see them on a Skype call or on a chat channel. So Tom, what is your favorite kind of movie? Hey Anne, what is the name of your spouse again? By the way John, is your job fulfilling your purpose in life? The specific questions don't matter much. You're not trying to build a complete dossier on behalf of an intelligence agency, I hope. The purpose of personal maps is to help team members show some more interest in each other. In fact, I had the best experiences when people made personal maps of themselves and then offered them to the group. After which the group then asked each other questions. It is exactly what we did with my current team on our very first online hangout. For one hour we only explored our personal maps. By the way, do not let people present their own personal maps. This is not an ego presentation. Some people love that, but most people don't. It's better to have each team member present someone else's personal map. This invites questions, discussions and nice moments of people making connections between each other. They will always focus on two things. Similarities. Oh, you like fantasy novels too. Who is your favorite author? And the remarkable things. You were on a vacation in Mongolia. That's so cool. How was it? Keeping personal maps with notes about team members is similar to my mother keeping records of birthdays of all friends and family. And getting the entire team to discuss personal maps with each other is like a mini team building trip into the mountains. The difference is you can do this anytime and anywhere. Because good teams don't need physical closeness. They need mental closeness.